exercise 6.4 fifth question d e f r respectively the midpoints of sides a b b c and c a of triangle a b c d is the midpoint of a b e is the midpoint of b c and f is the midpoint of a c find the ratio of the areas triangle d e f and triangle a b c so given the midpoints midpoints of the sides we have to find the area of efd divided by area of triangle a b c for getting this first we have to prove both the triangles are similar actually for proving that we are using midpoint theorem here e and f are the midpoints of the sides of the triangle so this e of is parallel to the third side and e of is equal to half of the third side so we can write e of is parallel to ab and e of is equal to half of ab e of is parallel to ab and e f is equal to half of ab similarly d f is parallel to b c and d f is equal to half of b c d f is parallel to b c and d f is equal to half of b c next is d f d f is, is parallel to b c and d f is equal to half of b c next is d e d e is parallel to a c and d e is equal to half of a c d e is parallel to a c and d e is equal to half of a c from these three we can conclude that a f e d is a parallelogram if a f e d is a parallelogram we can say both these angles are equal using opposite angles of a parallelogram a f e d is a parallelogram implies angle a is equal to angle e using opposite angles of a parallelogram similarly d f e b is a parallelogram d f e b is a parallelogram so we can say angle b is equal to angle f so we can say triangle abc is similar to triangle efd triangle abc is similar to triangle efd triangle abc is similar to triangle efd using aa criterion if these two are similar we can say area of efd area of triangle efd divided by area of triangle abc is equal to square of the ratio of the corresponding sides so e f by a b whole square but e f e f is equal to half of a b means a b is equal to 2 times e f so e f divided by 2 e f whole square which is equal to ef square divided by 4 into ef square which you can cancel remaining 1 by 4 so the required ratio is 1 is to 4 the required ratio is equal to 1 is to 4 next question the question is this prove that the area the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding medians 
we have already proved if two triangles are similar the ratio of their areas is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides but here what we have to prove is that is also equal to the square of the corresponding medians so consider a triangle abc and triangle pqr in which am and pn are two medians so what is given is triangle abc similar to triangle pqr we have to prove that area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr is equal to am by pn whole square so what is given is triangle abc similar to triangle pqr if two triangles are similar we can say the corresponding sides are proportional and corresponding angles are equal so we can write that so triangle abc similar to triangle pqr means angle a is equal to angle p angle b is equal to angle q angle c is equal to angle r and ab by pq is equal to bc by qr is equal to ac by pr equation 1 and 2 then what we can say is area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr is equal to square of the the square of the ratio of the corresponding parts so ab by pq whole square is equal to bc by qr whole square which is equal to ac by pr whole square so what we have written is what is given actually then this is the result which i have used here area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr is equal to ab by pq whole square mark this as equation 3 then what we are going to prove is triangle amb is similar to triangle p and q for this we are using the equation 2 what is given is ab by pq is equal to from 2 we can write ab by pq is equal to bc by qr bc we can write as 2 bm because uh, this is the median so we can write it as 2 bm divided by 2 qn is equal to ac by pr so we can write ab by pq is equal to bm by qn ab by pq is equal to bm by qn that means two sides are in proportion and angle b is equal to angle q using one angle b is equal to angle q using one so we can say triangle abm is similar to pqn triangle pqn using sas criterion so triangle abm is similar to triangle pqn using sas criterion so if these two triangles are similar what we can write as ab by pq is equal to bm by qn is equal to am by pn equation 4 so from 4 we can say ab by pq is equal to am by pn so we can replace ab by pq as am by pn in equation 3 so from 3 and 4 we can write area of triangle abc divided by area of triangle pqr is equal to am by pn whole square this is the required result so these are the given things triangle abc similar to triangle pqr so we can write corresponding angles are equal and corresponding sides are proportional since they are 
similar we can write area of triangle ABC divided by area of triangle PQR is equal to AB by PQ whole square. Then we have proved these two triangles are similar, triangle ABM are similar to triangle PQN using SAS criterion. If these two are similar, we can say sides are proportional. So, we are getting AB by PQ as AM by PN. So, we are replacing in AB by PQ as AM by PN in equation 3 that is a required result. Then the seventh question, prove that the area of an equilateral triangle described on one side of a square is equal to half the area of the equilateral triangle described on one of its diagonals. So, B, this is a square, A, B, C, D is a square and B, E, C is, a equila is an equilateral triangle on one, one of the side B, C and A, C, F is another equilateral triangle on one of the diagonal A, C. What we have to prove is area of this small triangle is equal to half the area of this big triangle. So, it is given that B, C, E and A, C, F are equilateral triangles. It is equilateral means all the angles are 60 degrees. So, clearly both these are similar. Triangle B, E, C is similar to B, C, E. Try, we can write B, C, E or B, E, C, no problem. B, E, C is similar to triangle A, F, C. Triangle B, C, E is similar to triangle ACF here I have used B E C similar to A F C. So, these two are similar using A A criterion. So, what we need is area of B C F is equal to half of area of ACF that is what we have to prove. So, since these two are similar we can say triangle area of triangle BEC divided by area of triangle AFC is equal to one of the side we can take BC square divided by AC square. I have taken BC square and AC square. So, this is the equation 1. But this is a square, so this angle is 90 degree. So, we can write AC in terms of BC. Using Pythagoras theorem, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. But AB and AC are equal, AB and BC are equal because they are the sides of a square. So, we can write BC square plus BC square which is equal to 2BC square, equation 2. So, we can write area of triangle BEC divided by area of triangle AFC is equal to BC square divided by 2 BC square. I am replacing AC, AC square as 2 BC square. So, we can cancel these two remaining 1 by 2. So, what we can say is area of BC is equal to half area of ACF. Area of triangle BEC is equal to half area of triangle AFC. This is a required result. What we did is these two triangles are similar using AA criterion. If they are similar, they are equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding parts. So, after that we have written AC square as AB square plus BC square. 
So, it is equal to 2 BC square because both the sides are equal. So, after that I have replaced AC square as 2 BC square which is equal to 1 by 2. So, area of triangle BEC is equal to half area of triangle AFC. To homework exercise 6.4, 8 and 9.